I made these creamy Tuscan chicken stuffed shells and they came out so good. Let me show you guys how to make them. Let's start by getting our water ready for our pasta. So go ahead and set a pot over high heat and fill it with water. Now just allow that to come to a boil. Here I've got two chicken breasts butterflied into four thin pieces. Let's drizzle on a couple teaspoons of oil and then season our chicken with salt, ground black pepper, basil, parsley, and oregano. Rub on all of those seasonings thoroughly. Then we're gonna repeat the process on the other side of our chicken. Now just set that aside while we heat our pan. So a large pan set over medium high heat. We're gonna drop in two tablespoons of butter and then drizzle in two tablespoons of the oil from our sun-dried tomatoes. Once our butter is melted and our pan is heated, about two minutes, we're gonna lay on our chicken and allow them to cook for seven minutes. By this time, our pot of water should be at a boil. So let's sprinkle in some salt and we're gonna pour in a 12 ounce box of large shells and allow them to boil for 14 minutes. After cooking our chicken for seven minutes, go ahead and flip them over and cook for another seven minutes until they fully cook through. Once our chicken is fully cooked through, go ahead and remove them from our pan and set them on a plate to rest. To the same pan, we're going to lower the heat to a medium and begin sauteing a fourth of a cup of diced onion for two minutes or until they become nice and fragrant. Then we can go ahead and stir in three minced garlic cloves for 30 seconds and then a fourth of a cup of chopped sun-dried tomatoes. Once our tomatoes are all mixed in with our onion and garlic, let's pour in two cups of heavy whipping cream and season that with oregano, parsley, basil, and black pepper. Pour in a cup of Parmesan cheese. Then we're gonna give our sauce a good whisk until the cheese melts. Once we do that, we're then gonna shred our chicken, scoop it back into our pan, and coat them in our sauce. After combining our chicken and our sauce, let's stir in a handful of spinach until wilted. Now it's time to drain our shells and get ready to assemble. To a baking dish, we're gonna spread on some of our sauce then we can begin carefully stuffing our cooked shells and just repeat until we fill our baking dish, making sure to leave some sauce left over for topping. Once we stuff our shells, we're gonna top them with the remaining sauce and then sprinkle on a few handfuls of mozzarella cheese. Now just bake our dish uncovered at 415 degrees for 20 minutes or until golden and bubbly. After 20 minutes, remove our dish from the oven Garnish with some chopped fresh basil and our Tuscan shells are ready to serve and enjoy.